So after a crash course uh, about tubes, uh, let's go over the schematic of the Dynaco Mark III amplifier. Um, basically, 170 volts AC uh, gets plugged into the wall. The, wa um, the voltage, the AC voltage, goes through the power transformer, the P782 transformer, and it gets stepped up to about 430 volts AC. And the rectifying tube, the GZ34, gets uh, the, AC, the stepped up uh, 430 volt, 430 volts AC on uh, pin four and pin six, and the cathode at pin eight. The AC signal gets rectified, and the cathode pin eight has about 490 volts DC that comes out of it. As you can see, the uh, heater filament uh, between 2 and 8 gets 5 volts AC to heat up the uh, cathode. And this uh, 490 volt DC just keeps on going and goes through this first filter capacitor. Now this, uh, this capacitor right here is 30 microfarads and it's only rated at 525 volts. This capacitor is actually underrated. It needs to be rate it at least 550 to 600 volts uh, bare minimum and I actually increase it all the way up to 800 volts uh, rating uh, but this capacitor right here is the very first thing that uh, goes bad in this amplifier uh, so this DC voltage then goes through a choke which gets smoothed out and goes into another capacitor so the voltage right now is a very stable 400 and 80 volts DC. This 480 volts DC then goes into the output transformer, the A431. It center taps into the red wire. The red wire is the center tap of the 431 output transformer. And the 480 volts, again, because this is just a uh, copper wire, wa copper wire uh, winding. The voltage carries on to the green and blue wire, uh, which is uh, uh, on both ends. Uh, again, this is a class AB amplifier, so we have half of the signal uh, amplified by one of the KT88 or the 655O tubes, and the other half of the signal gets amplified by uh, the other tube. Um, but because uh, the 480 volts is on center tap, uh, it carries over pretty much to the green and blue wires, which they're about 475 volts DC. So basically, pin 3 and pin 4 are short together. Now this is a unique setup because they're taking the output screen and they're shorting it to the anode. And once you do that, you take a regular pentode and now you effectively make it into a triode. Now why do we want to take a pentode and, and reduce it back into a triode is because once you short these two pins together this is called a triode strapped pentode circuit and it actually improves the uh, anode uh, resistance, it actually lowers the anode resistance and it also lowers the noise of the tube which means that the audio quality improves under those circumstances. So before we go towards the rest of the circuit down here, let's, re let's look back down at the uh, power transformer. There's only one more winding I haven't talked about yet. Uh, the, there is a uh, 6.3 volt AC that's outputted from this power transformer. Um, this 6.3 volt AC uh, signal actually goes and it heats up the heat or filament for both uh, uh, tubes right here and this other tube right here. So it doesn't show on the schematics but that's what this 6.3 volts uh, AC does. Now let's, uh, let's look at the inputs of this uh, circuit. Now the audio comes into the input and it goes into the 6A and 8 and again this is a pentode and 
it controls the uh, the it, it goes to the the grid control and again you have your cathode right here you have your anode right here and this grid control controls uh, of course the uh, anode and then the signal gets uh, amplified down here now I do not quite understand what the control screen does right here maybe somebody can explain uh, down below but the remaining signal then again goes into uh, the triode and again the control screen uh, receives a signal and one half of the signal gets amplified through this part of the circuit and the other half of the signal gets amplified through this part of the circuit hence this is a AB class AB amplifier the beauty of the class AB amplifier is that you can take you can have a lot higher uh, audio output at 60 watts output because normally as you can see right here at uh, the tube information is 6550 normally it can only output uh, 20 watts per tube but if you uh, stack it oops uh, like this now you double the outputs so uh, one side of the, of the tube outputs one side of the circuit and the other one outputs the other side of the circuit uh, to bring this into more perspective this is all I found on uh, uh, Google doing a quick uh, class AB amplification but basically you can see the input signal comes in here and then half of the signal gets amplified here and the other half gets amplified here when it goes through a transformer it both joins together to have the full uh, uh, sinusoid signal um, but there's a bias adjustment because uh, so the beauty is that you can take two regular tubes and two less power tubes and create more power out of, out of it but uh, the issue with a class AB amplifier is that uh, when they join the two signals right here uh, there can be a distortion or can, there can be a out of alignment at where it joins together right here so which brings back to uh, this circuit right here that's why when one half of the signal goes through here and the other half goes through here goes through these two audio caps right here the AC signal basically just goes straight through there and then it requires a bias of the volt of voltage on these two points right here it's about negative 55 volts and you need to adjust it so that that the uh, uh, that it uh, uh, it's balanced in order to adjust it which goes all the way down back here to the pot that's uh, on let's see if I can find it real quick uh, it's oh there it is is there better okay there we go this pot right here uh, that potentiometer is what you adjust to uh, to uh, to change the bias on it and if you have it biased correctly on pin 8 you'll have 1.56 volts DC that's when you know that you've biased it correctly um, so that's pretty much of course the audio after it gets goes through a transformer then it outputs on the other side of the transformer and you hook up your speaker to uh, if you have an 8 ohm speaker and you hook it up to the 8 ohm of course uh, so that's the basic idea of the schematic